Hi everybody, I'm Maya and today, oh well welcome back to Maya's Crafts. Please like and subscribe. So anyways, today I'm going to be making a snorkel. And a snorkel is basically, um, wait hold on, let me read what a snorkel is. Let me tell you guys exactly what it is. A snorkel is a beast that lives in a realm of the mind. No two snorkels are exactly the same. They are unlike any other real creatures known to man. Snorkels generally live on captivity. So basically this was like a cool little project that we got to do for school and I'm really happy that I got to do it because it is so fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so um, basically I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a snorkel and then at the end I'm going to be doing a cute little interview with my snorkel and see. Okay, so basically the first thing you'll need is model magic clay. I just got white model magic clay because I want to paint it afterwards and really just make it very colorful and glittery and everything. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. Um, I'm gonna you're gonna want to separate the pieces from the beginning. So I got like a little ball and I'm just gonna separate it into like three. I have to separate it into three and make them about the same size. Maybe make the ears just a tiny bit bigger. So make two of them a little bit bigger and then one kind of small. One of them is going to be the tail and the other two are going to be the little cute bunny ears. And then you're going to roll those up into a ball with the palm of your hand. Make it a little tiny ball. And then make this one a cute tiny little ball. And then this one a cute tiny little ball. So I guess why don't we just start off with the ears. Actually might, these might be a little bit too big. We're going to start off with the ears. So first thing first, thing first you're going to put roll it into a ball and then you're going to smash the ball down and kind of like pat it and then kind of, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but basically what you guys are going to do is kind of make it like, kind of like an oval basically. Just make it into an oval. And if it's too big, just rip a little bit off and then keep trying. And then I'm going to use a pencil and kind of roll it. You guys don't really need to see this part. It's kind of self-explanatory. Just kind of make an indent for where the inside of the ear should be. And then make an oval. So after you guys are done with the oval, you're going to do that again. And then just I'll help you guys shape the body. Okay, so now that I'm done with the ears, I'm going to just roll the last little, remember we're supposed to separate it into three sections, and then I'm going to get the last one and just roll it into a ball, and I'm going to leave it like that. So now it's time to shape the body. I just got a big glob of clay. I don't know why it's like doing that. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if it looks orange to you guys, but it looks orange to me. Like, when I'm looking at the screen, it's orange. It keeps going in and out. It's so weird. Okay, yeah, that's so weird. Because actually the lighting is perfect in here, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, look. So you guys roll it. Try to roll it into a ball. Ballish shape. So just kind of roll it into a ball. There it goes. There it goes. Back to normal. Okay. I don't know if it shows it for you guys, but it does for me. Okay. So now I got into a big ball. Ah. Uh, eat it. I want to eat it. <laughs> okay. Um... <clears throat> So basically, next, I'm going to, I like working with Model Magic just because it's um, non-toxic and uh, it's air dry so I don't have to bake it. I actually like making stuff with Model Magic. So I say if you guys are going to like create stuff, do whatever you guys want, I mean like, you know, I would say get Model Magic clay because I know people use Daiso clay or like... I don't like Daiso clay, it's too soft and I've tried I actually tried doing it with this project and it actually didn't work. Just because of the texture, it's so soft and like more like for slime, I guess. This one is perfect. It's really thick, but at the same time it's very moldable and soft and you can create stuff better. So you guys kind of like just kind of shape it the way you want. I'm just kind of making it like a little bob head. But like I said, no two snorkels are the same. So you guys, is, this is just like in a little idea. And this would be amazing for little kids. Like if you have a little kid or stuff, I would say you just 
this would be perfect for them. So now you can see I'm kind of getting a pencil and like all the wrinkles. I'm kind of trying to roll out the wrinkles in it. Like, can you guys see all those wrinkles in it? I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but it looks kind of bad in person. So I'm just kind of wrinkling it out. I'm going to make a stand, and then after you guys are doing that, as you guys are doing that, then I'll show you guys the next step, okay? Which is basically just the face, and if you guys want to paint it and decorate it. Okay, now that I kind of have my body shaped, it's kind of just like a little weird shape. You know, snorkels are so cute and cuddly, and obviously they're not real. But, like, there's some examples. I, you guys can't see it, but... Snorkels are just supposed to be cute and creative, and I love little snorkels. This is my first time making it, but I'm definitely going to make it after this. So this is air dry model magic clay, so I don't have to bake it or nothing. But if you guys have to bake it, I would probably say bake this part first, and then put these on, just because. And just because I've worked with that before, and the shape always loses its shape. So it, I kind of let this dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of make an indent with my pencil. You guys see, I'm going to kind of make an indent, like poke holes in it, just so it has like a stickiness to it so that it'll stay in place. If you guys know what I mean, like it, just so it'll stay in place. And then, and then I'm going to kind of shape it on there just because it's, you get a better idea of it. Sorry, I'm like trying to show you guys, but it's kind of hard to. So, the bunny ears. I'm going to move it over a little. So, you're going to just kind of shape it and kind of make it your own. And then, you're going to use the other side and make it even just make it even and kind of make an indent for it just so you have an idea and it'll stay just a little nicer. And then kind of pinch it in. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a bunny, but it's not. Because snorkels do look nothing like mankind. Nothing like the actual ones. Okay. So then a little cute little snorkel piece right there. And then I'm going to put the little thing in the back and kind of shape it on make it look all cute kind of looks like a bunny but it's not it's a snorkel and then with the pencil i'm just going to poke some eyes and then kind of shape the mouth Ah, uh, I messed up. The best thing with this clay is that you can just kind of reshape it and uh, redo it. But I'm kind of just going to make a face. Make the eyes even. I'm just going to make an indent. You know, some people can just do a whole face. I'm not going to do the whole face. Just because. And there is my cute little snorkel. So now I'm going to do... Now I'm going to paint it, and I'm going to do that off camera just because I don't want to bore you guys with that. And then I'm going to do the interview. Okay, so now that I'm done with my snorkel, I painted it. I left the tail white with glitter just because, and it just looks so cute. I love my snorkel. So now let me just do the interview real quick. Let me just show you. Let me guys just tell you a little bit about my snorkel. So, basically, my snorkel's name is Ruby Glitter Butterfly. Um, she, her favorite foods are eating glitter, glue, and glitter after my friend, because she loves eating glitter glue from last year, too. Um, her name is Faith. Um, favorite TV shows, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and Barney. And the reason why she likes uh, watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is because her dad is Mickey Mouse Butterfly. Yeah, so she thinks that that's her dad, even though that's not her dad. <laughs> um, she, um, she's, she wants, um, <laughs> she, when she grows up, she wants to be a stay-at-home mom. Um, she, she used to live in the Magic Realm, a.k.a. a tree. 
She thinks it's a magic realm. Don't tell her, okay? Wait, hold on. Let me cover her ears, okay? Don't tell her, guys. Um, <laughs> um, her favorite thing to do on free time is making slime and playing with it. Um, what Her favorite color is ruby and red, which is exactly the same color. So don't tell her it's the same color, okay, guys? Um, and if you could live anywhere you wanted to live, where would you live? Um, she said the magic realm, a.k.a. tree, where I found her from. Um, her, what is her mom and dad's name? What are her parents' names? Mickey Mouse Butterfly and Jasmine Rainbow Butterfly. Where um, do your mom and dad live? In the magic realm, a.k.a. a tree. Don't know why. Um, what is your favorite song? Ruby Ruby Now, a.k.a. She Made It Up. And basically, that is it. You can see my snorkel is a very funny person. Um, I love you guys so much. Make sure to like and subscribe to be a part of the crafting life. Bye. Ah, like, subscribe. Oh, and comment down below what is your snorkel's name and if you actually did this project. Bye.